Hello, YouTube. How you doing today? Uh, happy Easter. Uh, it's almost over now. Uh, sitting here watching Tasting Niches videos. We're going to do one today on Guinness Rye Pale Ale and Aromatic Amber Ale. Brewed with rye malt, 5% alcohol by volume, fill 11.2 full ounces, didn't even give me 12 ounces, for a damn $3 beer. Product of Ireland, the Brewers Project, St. James Gate, Dublin, uh, I know what that name is, but I can't think of it. Uh, Arthur Guinness, I think. Or something like that. Anyhow, it's a pretty nice ball. If you can see it. it has a 1759 Guinness. Trademark St. James Gate, Dublin. Park Top. Said the Brewers Project. St. James Gate, Dublin. A group of enterprising brewers on a quest to explore new recipes. Old ones and Collaborate, I can't never say that word, I'm southern as hell, frequently to bring exciting beers to life. First created by our Brewers Project as a holiday gift for the friends, Rye Pale Ale offers a uh, rusty pear Fairly be bit balanced with citrusy grapefruit notes from Masonic and Cascade hops. Okay, it's five point zero by alcohol. Come on, I know you gotta have a date. Brewed in Ireland by Guinness. Imported by Guinness. Norfolk CA product of Ireland. And that's a hell of a note, you know. There's a beer like this would have no damn date on it. It's got some kind of code, L. Six two one nine G F O O one. Then underneath it's got zero zero dot dot nineteen. I cannot believe this beer does not have a date on it. Oh well, it's sitting here getting. Getting, getting, getting cold. Had a little hiss to it. Nice cap. Give her a pull. Y'all want some head? <laughs> Look at how fast it's depositating. Seven finger head. <laughs> it's clear. I can see the computer screen through it. Got a white spongy ice like, looks like vanilla ice cream head. You smell grapefruit. You get a 
yeasty, spicy aroma. Let's see if there's anything in the bottom. Oh, she's go way ahead. No, I don't like to drink it. Uh, screaming a little bit. A little bit of carbonation. Not much. Trying to make the head go away a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get to it. We'll be here all day. It's kind of hazy. Straw, hazy color. Took a chance on this beer because I don't like Guinness. Because it, I don't like coffee. I don't like beers that taste like coffee. But this does not taste like coffee. And uh, Thought I'd seen the date, but I know it wasn't made in 1759. Okay, it has a little bit, a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a grapefruit. <coughs> it has a little bit of a, <coughs> a rye malt. Uh, Like I say, this beer was three dollars. Now, see, I like these kind because they're not. Most of these ones you get with the you know the grapefruit and the taste like that is it's just so bitter out at you. It's just boom. But the last few I picked out has been pretty good. That's been pretty tasty. Uh, it's a nice bottle. It's engraved with his name all the way around it. Cheers, YouTube. If you ain't tried it, give it a try. You might like it. Then again, you might not. See, see, you might can see it, see it all the way around. Some nice artwork. It's a good beer. Would I buy it again? No, it's just a one-time thing. I wouldn't pay three dollars for it again. Cheers, YouTube. Have a good one.